In this video, we'll learn how to make pixel perfect artwork in Illustrator. To practice, I've got the file pixelperfectdemo.ai open from this week's demo files. Here, I've got the beginning of a design for an electrical outlet emoji. I think this could actually be a pretty useful emoji. I've got an electrician in my family, so I would use this a lot. I could also see other folks using it, maybe when searching for a place to charge a device, like at an airport, for example. The emojis and icons that we use on our screens every day are actually pixel-based images, even if they were designed using vector art. Since I'm working towards such a small-scale design, I really need to think about how my vector graphics will translate into pixels on the screen when this image is eventually used as an emoji. To get a preview of what that conversion will look like, I'll click on View, Pixel Preview in the menu bar. This shows me what my vector graphics will look like when they're converted into pixels. With Pixel Preview on, I'll also see the pixel grid superimposed over my image anytime I'm zoomed in over 600%. Notice in the pixel version, I'm getting a lot of blurred edges like here and here, and not the same crisp, precise artwork that I have in my vector version. This blurring is called anti-aliasing, and it's an attempt to match the vector art that's not perfectly aligned with the pixel grid as closely as possible when we convert to a pixel image. So making vector art pixel perfect means aligning shapes exactly to the pixel grid so that we don't need this sort of blurring when we convert to a pixel image. Now, luckily, this is really easy to avoid in Illustrator. We can start by clicking View, Snap to Pixel from the menu bar. Now we'll automatically snap to the pixel grid when drawing new shapes or making edits like scaling or moving anchor points around. I need to draw one last shape here, so I'll go ahead and turn on my reference layer, then set my fill color to black and my stroke to none in the color picker. Now I'll use the rectangle tool and just click and drag. And I can see I'm snapping right to that pixel grid. So I get a really nice, precise, crisp edge with none of that anti-aliasing that I see on these other shapes. So let's go ahead and turn off the reference layer I can also easily take the artwork that I've already drawn and make it pixel perfect. I just need to select it. So I'll go ahead and hit Command A or Control A on the keyboard to select all my vector art. Then click Object, Make Pixel Perfect from the menu bar. This will automatically snap my artwork bounds to the pixel grid. And for shapes that have horizontal or vertical lines, Illustrator will automatically be able to snap those right to the pixel grid, making them pixel perfect. If I have curves or diagonal lines, I'll usually still see some anti-aliasing since there's really no way for them to align to the grid perfectly. So for instance, this shape here that has the arched top. I can make the sides and bottom pixel perfect since they're straight, but notice how the top isn't. I still get a little anti-aliasing there. Now, sometimes we can fix that by using the direct selection tool to move an anchor point or move control handles. But since I do want this to represent a curved shape, it's okay to just let it be anti-aliased. Where our pixel preview can get a little bit tricky is that when we're zoomed in closely, we'll usually be able to see that something is pixel perfect and snapped exactly to those grid intersections. Other times when we're zoomed out a little bit, things might still look blurry even though the artwork is already pixel perfect. So if we need to double check, we can just select an object, then click Object Make Pixel Perfect from the menu bar. And we'll get a message from Illustrator saying this artwork is already pixel perfect. Or alternatively, we could just zoom in very closely to the artwork and see that it's aligning as closely as possible to the pixel grid. Once I've made as much of my artwork as possible pixel perfect, I can turn off that pixel preview by clicking View, pixel preview from the menu bar. And I'll leave my snap to pixel enabled. That will help make sure that any other artwork I draw or any edits I make such as moving anchor points or control handles will all snap right to the pixel grid, making sure that my vector art translates into pixels as clearly as possible. Okay, that's how to make pixel perfect artwork in Illustrator.